King Ryan, Ryan Garcia, my friend, I'm going to have to disagree with you on this one, my G. I got a lot of love for Ryan Garcia, bro. I rock with Ryan Garcia because I think Ryan Garcia wants to get in there and scrap with the best of them, bro. Bam, bam, with the best of them, bro. Gets me all hyped up thinking about it. I like that. But recently, bro, he went on the Twitter. A lot of people are talking about it. Uh, we all know he called out Devin Haney. He told Oscar De La Hoya to get to work. Devin Haney went on, made a statement that this is all facts. So the fight is being worked on, bro. But recently, my guy Ryan Garcia, as popular as you are, bro, and as many butts as you would put on those seats when you do fight Devin Haney, this man is going on to uh, tell Devin Haney. Let me see what he says. He's pretty much warning Devin Haney not to price himself out, believing that him versus Devin Haney at 140 pounds should be a 50-50 split, bro. Should be a 50-50 split. And I, and I think Mr. Ryan Garcia, that is outrageous, my bro. That is outrageous, my G. Th this fight, and I'm going to be honest with you, man, and, I'm, and, and, and whoever gets offended, oh, well. I think it's a 70-30 split, Devin Haney. And if Devin Haney wants to be generous, if Devin Haney wants to be generous just because of Ryan Garcia's popularity and he is gonna, you know, he is gonna, you know, do his thing with the promotion and he is gonna have his fan base there. So if he wants to be generous, I would go 65-35, bro. And I'm just being honest with you guys, man. Ryan Garcia has never fought a world champion, never beaten a, uh, 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 never been in a world title fight because this dude, you know, he's never been a world champion in his career. So this would be Devin Haney giving him a shot to accomplish those dreams. Not to mention, Devin Haney, what he recently has done is become undisputed champion of the world at 135 pounds. Flew to another country to fight Cambosis. And I always bring this up because a lot of people try to discredit this man cambosis beat tiafimo lopez but you know then they're gonna say cambosis had the fight of his life the same cambosis that beat tiafimo lopez period period he flew to australia beat him undisputed champion of the world rematched him then this man goes on defends his titles against lomachenko whether you guys want to say he won or lost man i don't want to hear it he fought lomachenko kept his titles what did he do after that he goes up to 140 pounds fights a knockout artist in Regis, snatches up the WBC belt from him, made this man break a record with throwing the least punches ever in a fight while the whole fight he was in front of him, throwing his jab, bro, throwing his combinations and making it look easy and making them look silly, bro. That's what Devin Haney has recently done. And he has the case, he's making a case to be fighter of the year, to be fighter of the year. Ryan Garcia just got the biggest damn payday of his life. You know, had the biggest box, one of the biggest boxing events ever fighting Javante Tank Davis. But what happened, bro? He got dropped in that fight. I believe it was the second round. And Tank went on to stop him. I believe it was the seventh round. Correct me if I'm wrong with that body shot. Sure, he bounced back, got a victory recently, bro. But what Devin Haney, what Devin Haney has done recently and what ryan garcia has done it does not even come close man if anybody is going to be pricing themselves out of this fight it's going to be ryan garcia and i hate saying it because i feel like ryan garcia really wants to fight devin haney i feel like ryan garcia does not care who he fights he's down to fight anyone but if anybody would be pricing someone out it, it, it would be ryan garcia bro because somebody i feel like i'm ryan garcia's team has to let this young G know that this is not a 50-50 fight, bro. And I'm not saying this in a disrespectful way. I'm just keeping it a buck. And I'm being honest, man. Devin Haney is definitely the A-side. Devin Haney has definitely accomplished a lot more than Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia, I would say, is more popular than Devin Haney. But Devin Haney's popularity recently has also grown, bro. It has also grown. And I feel like the haters hate to hear that. But it has also grown and it's only going to continue to grow as this young G is only 25 years old. Point of my video. This fight for sure ain't no 50-50 split, Mr. King Ryan. Somebody on his team should let him know so us fans don't get robbed of that fight. Like I said, bro, I'm going to put it like this. 
to be generous, bro, just because this man is going to fill those seats as well. He's going to do his thing and play his role in that fight. I say that fight is a 65-35 split. No questions asked, bro. And, you know, they'll make a ton of money off the, off the pay-per-view as well. They're still going to make a ton of money. But I think that fight, man, we won't say 70-30. We'll say 65-35. My thoughts, my opinions. What do you guys think, bro? You think Devin Haney uh, should give him a 50-50 split? Or you think Ryan Garcia is flat out out of his mind demanding that kind of that kind of split, bro? It's your boy Armin Real Talk. Catch you guys on the next video. Have a blessed and wonderful new year, man. But I'm sure we'll make another video until then. We out of here.